Hi there, Richard Matharu here, and in today's training, I'm going to teach you how to effectively follow up with prospects that let you down. So, have you ever had it where someone said they would watch something or be there for a call or a follow up and they weren't? How do you effectively follow up with someone like that in a way that still has them positive, so open to joining your business, but in a way that also has them respect your time for the future, so they'll definitely be there and do what you ask from here on out? I'm going to teach you that tactic in today's show, so stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. So what I want to say first of all is you should have a process to expose and invite your prospects that's taught by your company that works. Okay, you should absolutely have that. We teach a, a three-step setup, a, a four-step invite, three-step setup, presentation and close, only in two appointments, and you know that works really, really well. It minimizes what I'm about to teach you. But let's say for some reason your prospect doesn't do what you ask them to do, and you need to leave some kind of message and get a follow-up in the future. Well, what I would do is have a two call rule okay two call rule and I'm also going to teach you how to use uh, replays in a second or, or sending out information in the future so two call rule call number one you're gonna call them and you're gonna say hey listen it's nine o'clock as we agreed because you should have scheduled an appointment right for a follow-up it's nine o'clock as we agreed only thing I can think of is it's completely slipped your mind or something's happened that's keeping you from the phone hey these things happen no problem but it is urgent what I've got to share with you so please definitely give me a call as soon as you get this message on this number I look forward to speaking with you soon and you're done 24 hours later call them back what can you be sure of in 24 hours they're either being flaky and ignoring you, which is disrespectful, or something is keeping them from the phone. Everyone gets their voicemail. So give them a call and just say, hey, listen, I'm just calling back. This is the final call. I'm not going to call you about this again. But listen, I hope, I really, truly hope something hasn't happened that's keeping you from the phone. Please let me know you're okay and if there's anything I can do to help. But if it isn't that, you know, I've got to be respectful of my time and I hope you're respectful of it too. I got to call the people that are serious about taking action and I don't pester people. I'd love to do it with you, but I'm only looking for those willing to take action. So if you ever want to call me, you have my number. I can share this information with you and how it can benefit you. But if not, I'm not going to call you about this again. And I wish you the very best of luck with everything that you do. If you're in a binary compensation bar, or if you have something like what I'm about to describe to you going on, this is incredibly powerful. What we like to say is, hey, listen, I owe you kind of an apology. You know, I've I got to leave you with an apology if you tag this on to the end. A bunch of people joined the team last night. Now, you would have financially benefited from them and their entirety of growth from anything they ever do in this opportunity if you'd have seen this last night and it was something that you want to do. So I feel I kind of didn't emphasize this enough because they're probably just watching like Singing with Ice or whatever it is on TV these days, uh, you know, and, and they missed out. So you want to let them know that. So you're firm but fair. You've got to train people how to treat you so they respect you. And with that type of message, because you said you're not going to call them again and you emphasize the urgency, if there's any fraction of a curiosity, they're going to call you. And there's nothing stopping you going back in, in a few months time and going back to them. They're going to forget probably all about that. And they'll definitely be like, OK, I want to show up for this time. Um, but that's the most powerful way to follow up. And in terms of replays, I wouldn't send replays and links out to people that said they were going to do something and didn't because they're going to do the same with the link. And nobody really sits there and watches an hour long video if it's a webinar. Nobody really watches information if it isn't set up the correct way. So you really need to build the posture and set up the information on an appointment as opposed to saying, well, yeah, sure, here's a link. You can watch it even though you completely didn't do what I asked you. That's training them how to treat you in the wrong way, right? You're training them that, hey, you can do whatever you want, disrespect my time, and I'm still going to bend over backwards for you. That's not how to build leverage an effective team of champions, okay? So I hope you got value from this training if you think your team or someone would value from from hearing this you have my permission to share it with them absolutely any company i don't care i want everyone to win in this industry if you like my training you'll see a link on the screen now or beneath this video if you click there it will take you to my homepage. a little video will play and there'll be a place for your name and email that will allow me to send you instantly a free audio training called invite with ease where you can invite anyone any place anytime anywhere so basically the whole world just became your leads if you get value from my training go ahead and do that whatever you do come create a date and a life that counts always have more desires and excuses and i'll see you on the next show really soon bye for now